From the clothes we wear to the cars we drive. From what we use to look good to what we use to relax. Our lives are full of products and our products are full of animals. Could knowing that so many of our favorite items contain animals change the way we feel about them forever? Tonight, it's the pig. Can't even the blood. Look at the skill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mine's got scissors and fat. And it's the pig and his skin have parted company and the skin is ready to go off to the tanning factory. Luxurious leather. Getting the pigs and for the rest of the pieces we are getting the leather and after that you can buy a fancy goods like shoes, bags, fancy leathers and stuff like that. Here we have got uh, the fatting machines. Uh, we have to take the fat out from the skin and the fat coming out from the other side so we can take a look. There it is. So what do you do? Fat. We are selling that fat, and uh, after that, the other companies producing the hand soap, eyeliner, mascara. What? For a creams and oh for a my head, God. and for no a way. hand soap they straight put that from in here. Mascara. Yes. Creams, soaps, mascaras, makeup, mascara cosmetics. You know that lots of cosmetics contain animal fat. Yeah. Well, that's mm. animal fat. It's really disturbing. As surprising as it may be to Sade and Prince. Animal fats are still used in lots of products we use every day, from makeup to hand wash and even soap. He's going to get the pig now and he's going to put it into this pig tank, which will remove the hair. The tank set at a temperature of about 66 degrees, so it doesn't actually cut the pig, but what it does, it loosens the hair. And the hot water also cleans the pig's skin and removes contamination. Oh, look at that! What a difference. I'm going to follow the hair onto the next stage of its journey into a hairbrush, as hard as that is to imagine right now. We can turn this wild boar bristle into a finished hairbrush. Something like that? Something like that. Mm. Um, a poultry offering. Okay. This is rare breed boar bristle. But I prefer... Um, it's not that much, is there? No, really? it's not that much. It doesn't really... I mean, looking here, you've got an awful lot of bristles, haven't you? I know. Where are all these from? <laughs> all the bristle comes from either China or India. Yeah. It's been a fascinating journey. So here it is, one of the most common everyday products in the world. But how many people actually think about how it's made and what it's made of? I mean, do you consider that every day you're running pig hair through your own hair.